We got ourselves a Phoenix Huck Lamb, so otherwise a pretty good day, aside of course from the uh, computer problems, which we think we've nailed. Welcome back to another episode, a very special episode of Battletech Advanced 3062 as we continue the campaigns of the Neutron Stars. Now you may be asking yourself, why Tirak is today a very special episode of Battletech Advanced 3062? And if you go through that whole process in your head of Battletech Advanced 3062 instead of just abbreviated to BTA, I want to acquired. meet you. Hello, Wayne Blizzard. Thank you for the subscription with your Twitch Prime for 10 months on a 10 month streak. Nice. Today, a heavy indeed. We shall be hunting heavies. But as I was explaining, oh yeah, my button. Oh, it's a big button. Uh, as I was explaining, the reason why today is a very special episode of Battletech Advance 3062 is because today is the one year anniversary of this mod. How cool is that? Bloody Doves has been making this mod for an entire year. He has managed to get by several fascinating thresholds and is still rocking and rolling. And today started a massive new patch, which has included many huge things, including stuff like a brand new melee system, which I'm looking forward to being able to actually test out, hopefully, in today's episode. Uh, so is Battletech Advance 3063 now? <laughs> yes, it is no longer 62, it has become 63. Indeed, a perfect one. Alright, so, last time. Last time, the Dervish ran out of ammo, the Enforcer kind of did a decent job, the Kit Fox, I believe, also ran out of ammo, and we got ourselves a Phoenix Huck Lamb. So, otherwise, a pretty good day, aside, of course, from the, uh, computer problems, which we think we've nailed down. I think I've mentioned this in previous streams, but we're fairly certain we know what the problem is, and steps have been taken to rectify it. Uh, steps that you can't see because it's on my second monitor, and hopefully that won't do it. Let's do this, do it today for heavy, yes. Hopefully today is the plan. Uh, what you doing with the lamb? Uh, the lamb is prop. Oh yeah, we pulled out the uh, the Beagle Active Probe because I don't really think that you need to see things all that well in this mod. Unlike Rogue Tech, which has all kinds of crazy like vision mods and that sort of thing, where whether or not you actually see the target or can en engage the target, uh, in Battletech Advance that isn't really there, so it gives you more vision, just outside vision cone. At the end of the day, I'd rather have the defense of a Guardian ECM suite, so that's what we swapped out, and that was it. Other than that, it's got like three medium lasers and a snub nose PPC. It ought to be fun. Also, um, today is also the day where the greatest patch has been finally added to one of the mods that I actually play. Uh, I know an another mod started actually using this system as well. However, oh, I figures I picked a mech with. Oh no, it has a. AC2 is now fire three times. I'm a little disappointed that they didn't use my numbers. Um, AC2s should in fact have 10 damage if we go by the standard multiplication, but at least somebody's fired multiple times. So this AC2 is actually weaker than tabletop. Sort of, ish, kind of. Stronger than tabletop in some ways, weaker than tabletops in the way that I had planned it. So hopefully we may actually cram this into a mech just to see what it can do. Yeah, massed AC2. Also, brief patch notes for the specific patch. Um, there is piercing weapons do not work so the fact that we no longer have a piercing assassin is actually pretty good oh yes we hadn't rebuilt the hunchback it's missing its hunch i don't really think there's anything we're going to do to change it i mean losing out of the melee answer on fours really kind of sucks because i don't have a replacement for that at the moment and i don't want to put on really anything else because none of this equipment really interests me and unfortunately in the store right now there's no really cool gear in order to throw on into that location so we're just kind of stuck there's a melee SRM2, but it is an SRM2 compared to a 4. My beloved mic is broken. Ah, uh, it's okay. And then, of course, there's the still ridiculous slug MG uh, that apparently shoots a rapid burst. That's that just... Don't. We, won't, we won't think about that. It'll be good. Uh, I will buy one of these just to put it on New as a replacement location available. because we do want to get this mech sort of back to where it was. I like it as it was. So melee SRM2. Weaker than it was before, but we'll be modifying a couple of things onto it. We are also missing just a metric load of medium lasers, so we'll add on a whole ton of those. So lasers, medium lasers, we have 43 of them. I never went through and actually, you know, cleaned them out. Could change one of my lasers to a medium pulse laser. That'd be pretty fun. Uh, that puts me one, two, three, four, and five. Yep. So that gives me one extra ton. I could throw one of the jump jets. Make it fly. I want to see a Daka back. <laughs> we will have to uh, get our hands on one then. We do have a second uh, hunchback, however, it's more of a hunch hammer at the moment. So, let's see, what can I do with that last extra ton? Is there any, like, cool things that I have left? I mean, I'm keeping the SRM ammo in the head, that way if it explodes, it doesn't, you know, kill the entire unit. A uh, small resolve boost, uh, kind of pointless to me. We have all the actuators that we're ever going to want. Ah, yeah, screw it, we'll just go an extra medium laser. We will do the most obvious, boring thing you could possibly do. There we go. 
Five minutes. Oh, that's because it was a pulse laser. There we go. Uh, we'll get that sucker back up and rolling in nine days, and it'll be running. Right. Mini I'll hammer for the win. Yeah. <laughs> just kills me the horse. Hello, Blue Ninja. Welcome to the stream. We're just about getting started here, going through all of our cool stuff and building it. Seriously, all of this is going to be done in two days. How, how gorgeous is that? Is there a mission waiting for us in two days? If not, we'll travel, but I think there might be. Oh, God, they're all three skulls. Okay. Okay, that, that's not cool. There's a three skull battle and clean out the mercs. I'm not sure I want to take it, but you know what? Cycle that clock. Our next take is just you about shut gone, up. Uh, apparently the Lyrans are very much happy with us, so there is that going for us. Okay, so our mechs should be good. We'll check our pilots and then we'll rock and roll. Does BTA have the pirate medium lasers that add melee damage? No, not that I've seen anyway. Uh, we haven't fought a huge number of pirates, but I have yet to see it. God, this thing is just festooned with missiles. It's beautiful. So all of my mechs, all of them are good. Check our pilots, make sure all of them are good. And I think I, if I have base base, I need to hire pilots. Oh, I have four berths left. I can hire more pilots. Hey, go. was good. Auto's good. Greybeard picks up a level of tactics. Mech warrior training complete. Holy Awaiting Inquisition. Uh, probably not going to come on this five. mission. Kaogre yeah. is, of course, injured and ruinously so. There is a new ability. If you hit Guts 9, you get to attack twice. This is not as cool as it is in Tabletop because for some reason in this mod, when you punch, you only punch once. Whereas in Tabletop, you punch twice. But hey, the ability to kick twice ought to be fun. Oh, where those are fun and rock deck. Uh, they really just gotta add to the overall craziness, don't they? I'm gonna focus on trying to get Kager up to his uh, guts nine. All right, good night, Smoke. Thanks for joining us. It was always nice to have you, even if you just swing by briefly. Is Warden here? Because we need to level Warden up. I think Warden may have abandoned us. He only shows up on uh, nights when we're doing tabletop. Oh, good. Pyro is maximum level. I believe Pyro wanted to go for a breacher. I'm not positive on that one. Pyro, are you here? He is here. Hello, Pyro. Uh, Pyro, do you want to go Breacher, or do you want to build up towards your Gutsy Punchiness? Standing back. goes alive, then we've got Talik. Talik, I can just level up. We'll take him the hit defense. Confirmed, Commander. Uh, yes. Breacher? Alrighty, we'll make sure that Pyro is a Breacher. Ready for orders. I think that makes our first Gunnery A pilot. <laughs> you have surpassed Neutron. So, making our Waiting most accurate I'm deadly pilot, yeah. Urando. Almost there. Not quite, though. And Wolfbanes, who is actually a sub now, so he gets to stay in the company. All right, so our pilots are good, aside from Warden, who isn't here right now. But if anybody sees him, tell him that he needs to show by so he can get a level up. And let's head to that command center and see if we can't take that mission. Clean out the mercs. 3 or 13, priority salvage. I'm going to take every last bit of that salvage. See what we can actually get done with that. Uh, let's see. I'm going to remove one of you, and it's probably going to be the enforcer, if I'm completely honest. Let's two. Let's two is locked. Oh, right, because of the, the hunch hammer. The mini hunch. Uh, Greybeard loves his his lambs, so I'm gonna pull Greybeard out of the Hunchback Papa. Did I put in the Huron Warrior? What did I put in the Huron Warrior? Oh yeah, it's a laser boat now. It's boring. Who is my next best pilot that I can bring? Auto. My oh, great. No, Greybeard's going into a different mech. Auto might be coming along for today's ride. I'd kill, <laughs> I'd kill a lot of turrets. It was very effective too. Incredibly helpful. I could put in Holy Inquisition, but it's a three scale mission, and Holy, you are a two, 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 three. So I'm not bringing you in just yet. Hello, Laurendell. Welcome to the stream. Glad to have you here. Okay, it looks like, yeah, we're bringing Otto. Otto, don't die. Miners, don't die. Cargo move freight. Uh, Greybeard's gonna be all set up. Let's rock and roll. He's finally getting to fly his lamb, even if it's not the game that he wants to be flying the lamb in. <laughs> oh, I'm hoping this works out well. I'm very much hoping this works out well. Because if not, then we're going to be in a lot of pain for no apparent reason. So, there's that. Hello, Rando. Welcome to the stream. Glad to have you here. You have joined just in time to join us for the prepare preparation of a mission. As we get ready to rock and or roll on various things. You know, on various levels. Sort of how we do things. And uh, this will be the last mission we'll probably take on this planet before we move on. And then I'll also have to make sure that I sell a whole ton of things. Because I actually want to have enough cash moving on forward towards the next planet. I don't think they sold double heat sinks here, so probably not going to be able to buy them. Uh, I did think actually though that there's double heat sink on my new lamb. So that'll be fun. We got the good lamb too. I mean, it, I don't think it's a missile slot, but we got the good one. Let me go grab cookies. <laughs> cookies. Cookies. You know, my, uh, my shirt is the color of Cookie Monster. I wonder if that's intentional or not. No, it wasn't intentional, but I have now realized that if I were to button this shirt up and paint my face blue, I could probably be possible for Cookie Monster. 
Cookies? Or maybe not. Voice isn't quite there, but hey. So, things ought to be fun. At least that's the plan. Should be able to kick butt and take names. Let's drop down, see exactly who it is we are destroying today. The desert. Lots and lots of desert. Oh, no, we're in close combat. That's a Mackie, I think. Are you a Mackie? Are you a 100-ton Mackie? Yeah, you're a 100-ton Mackie, aren't you? Hey, it's the 100-ton primitive Mackie. How's it looking? Much better. Still kind of keeping me up a little bit at night, but you know what? I can walk in worker boots, I can walk barefoot, but my sneakers pinch it, so that's unfortunate. Uh, so we got a Mackie, we got a grasshopper over here. <laughs> then we got an unknown, and another unknown. This ought to be fun. Uh, I think it's been two weeks. Did you miss last week's battle where we had just the knockdown drag out death match? I thought you were here for that. I'm almost positive you were here for that. The one where we finally captured a lamb? All right, so we're in close combat with the enemy. Uh, this has been decided, and Pyro is Commander. ready to rock. So let's get Pyro running at maximum speed. Oh, I should not have put Pyro in this mech. Because Pyro has two guns, and he'll always be firing them. Uh, okay, Rando, you need to go back and watch the VODs, because those battles were amazing. You did lovely in them, by the way, in case you were wondering. Oh, shoot, I should have... I should have held my position. Shoot the mech. Oh my god, Pyro, hitting a 39% chance on a person in full spawn protection, and just nailed it. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> I am impressed. So two shots, two hits, and the guy's up 50 heat, and he's in a primitive Mackie. Uh, what the hell is going on? Well, there's a Mackie here, there's a Grasshopper here, and there's two other pirate mechs that we have no idea about, and there may be even five. I anticipate reinforcements, right it is a three skull map, so hey. Hello, XR is no, a hundred tonner and a Grasshopper. It's not a good 100-tonner, though. It's a primitive. So primitives suck, and I'm not allowed to fix them for their secitude, unfortunately. Uh, I asked Bloody if we could hot rod them, and Bloody was like, no. So, what are you driving? Uh, you, Rando, are driving the mech you were driving last time. What were you driving last time? Uh, the Enforcer, which has proven to be reliable. Which, I suppose, is the nicest thing you can possibly say about an Enforcer. I really don't want to move anybody who I need to be super accurate with. So, Greybeard to the skies. We're going to have Greybeard mostly sore. Uh, mainly just building up a whole metric ton of evasion and seeing what the PPC will bring. The PPC brings some mixed blessings. I'm going to shut off some lasers. I'm not willing to sort of cook yet. We're just going to hit some death, which I think we missed, but then we hit. So, I think we're one on one. Uh, whatever response it was, silence. All right, the Mackie is going to move, and the Mackie's going to show me his back, so I suppose the enemy wants me to annihilate the Mackie. I would like to steal the Mackie, so I kind yep. of don't want to shoot anybody at him. Brando, your enforcer. Your enforcer will sprint at maximum speed and move around to the side. I know, it's a terrible mech, but that's not the point. What are you? Oh, you're a Centurion. Okay. Centurions are solid mechs. I mean, they're mediums. Oh, shoot. I didn't bring the YouTube people. I'm going to have to... Gonna have to mess with things later on. That's unfortunate. Oh well, it'll be fun. Uh, the Mackie pilot is a scout. Why? Because this is the this is the progenitor of all assault mechs, actually all battle mechs. So therefore, the progenitor of the Steiner Scout Lance. Uh, what is WPK? Uh, that is, I'm not sure what the W is, but P is punch and K is kick. I just watched a VOD where the lamb was built. I hope it's red. <laughs> I do too. It has a lot of evasion currently stacking onto it right now. Uh, you know what? We're gonna fire at you. Just light damage to get some damage down. Make the pilot a little bit worried, and that way I don't feel like I'm wasting my shot. But hello, Trifos. Welcome to the stream. Grasshopper moving on forward. Large laser blasting down. See, that, that grasshopper would be kind of perfect for, uh, for Kyogre if I could get my hands on it. And mainly because I think of Iceman's grasshopper, and Iceman's grasshopper is just a ridiculous celebration of, you know, hatchet. Weapon punch kick? Ah, that would make sense. The melee system has been completely overhauled, and we will look at it as soon as you know we Let's actually get it. it. <clears throat> oh goodness, you need to die. So we got a Centurion AH as well. God, I'd like to steal so many things. I really do want to grab this Mackie, but at the same time, you've given me such a beautiful opportunity to annihilate you. Now, you've actually given me a better opportunity to annihilate you, so let's go digging in the grass off. open, you are unguarded. There we go, he's destroyed. Maybe laser crit. He's almost on sight. We have one. Shouldn't you put the LB after the large laser in my back? Yeah, I'll switch that around once I actually start lobbing shotgun shells at people. But indeed. 
It's a shame that I can't change the default. I know how it sets that thing up, like how it Commander. decides what shoots when. I, I just wish that I could, you know, not have to rebuild the entire mech in order to fix that. Uh, we're going to rush on over here because we always want our hunchbacks to be front and center so they get killed. All the forest dancing in the air. <laughs> the missile fresh. Yup. You know that you're breaking the game when you got... How many? This is like 80 missiles. It's beautiful. Oh, flying. Uh, it's probably the best MRM mech that we have ever built. And I love it. Oh, goodness. That's not quite what my plan was. Because uh, I wanted to, you know, steal you. And stealing you is going to be hard enough as it is. So, you know what, Mackie? You're getting more love. Oh, was that a... That was a double hit on his right arm. His right arm contains a PPC, I think. Or is it the left arm with a PPC? I don't know. Uh, Dervish getting fired at. Not touch, obviously. Dervish is moving high speed. Low drag. Kicking butt, taking nips. Uh, I think the saves are okay. He showed us the ACTs. Uh, pretty much Mackie while the paints. It's revealed. Yup. Guns off the field. Steal what's left. Yeah, but I want one of these mags. If I have the opportunity to, to steal them, then that is an opportunity that cannot be wasted. And uh, you are an opportunity right there, sir, that shall not be wasted. I don't want to get too close, because, you know, you have an AC-20, and that's, that's just levels of pain. Could go for high ground. High ground is not necessarily always bad. I mean, high ground is rarely bad, but you get, you get the idea. 84 is just really nice. That's what, one, two, five pips of evasion versus even more. Yeah, we'll go for the even more evasion. I will trust... You know, getting in tight, but at the same time hitting with a crazy nuts of hits. Double tap with those plasma guns. They are amazing. They will be less amazing once they get fixed, but for now, they are amazing. Nice to see you'll see the medium bracket. Uh, three skull is not necessarily like the medium bracket, as we're seeing. <laughs> to be fair, Amaki is not necessarily a very dangerous assault mech. And by not necessarily, I mean Amaki is not a dangerous assault mech. Let's be completely Stand honest. Me if he punches me, that's gonna hurt like hell. But unless he punches me, it, we can basically ignore that. Ugh, I need a pilot who happens to have... There we go, we'll do the 43. I'll stand right in front of the grasshopper, why not? I'll invite getting lit on fire. Because I really want to kill you. He just has too many weapons that I don't want to exist. So we're going to just hose him down with heavy weapons fire. Uh, the hopper has a lot of hinks. heat sinks, not sure if we can overheat it. Ow, you punched me, you dick. Light damage. And he's still sprinting. Oh no, he got the knockdown, the bastard. Commander, I the leak. Can't... Why are you so terrible? I mean, you're not, but you know, you get the joke, I assume. Uh, sprint. No, sprint will not do nearly enough. We should fly, as you do. Lamb to the rescue. Let's see if we can't go rip this guy a new one because he's in a position that I don't want him to be. In. There goes his right arm. He doesn't have the cannon. I, I'm afraid of it anymore. Will that be a full knockdown just for free? It's not. They're close. In Rogue Tech, uh, I man once managed to assemble an Archer with twenty, with two MRM-30 and two Klein LRM-20, 120 rockets for Alpha. There's only eight full Alphas. Nice! That sounds like fun, Crazy Mode. If we can get our hands on some Klein Imagine. LRMs, that would be a blast. Alright, so we're going to use this to show off the new melee attack system. So you can charge, which will, you know, run into someone and hit them for, I believe it deals damage in 25 damage increments. And as you can, no, 23 damage increments, but it does six of them, so lots of hits. Uh, you can kick... At, which will attack the lower weapon physical weapon which will use their big hatchet to do or several there's a hatchet a mace and a sword to do various different effects to the upper torso and then there's punching which should hit twice but apparently in this mod it really does one so there's that uh coming right here could knock you right on over the chance is low and i could just shoot you with a pair of ppcs and not have to take recoil damage so we're gonna do that i know i'm boring but I'm going to hit you with a big gun. I'm Mainly because I'm worried about you doing nasty things. Oh, shoot. Uh, please don't miss. All weapons are go. Good job. Auto. Seriously. Charge. <laughs> not yet. We're not there yet. Yeah. Bando, I need you to save people because apparently Auto has decided he shall betray me to the enemy. And uh, get my really cool dervish destroyed. All right, swap these. Uh, I don't want to slug. I'm going to put a burst right over his head. Yeah, depending on where I hit. Yeah, go slug. Don't hit. Why is everybody suddenly growing blind today? I'm insulted. Reporting. Serious armor loss. What's on best in each of the mech? It looks to be Zim. It kind of does. Ah, duck. Oh, they're getting so physical. Dicks. 
What the fuck? Well, I'm pissed. Ugh. This melee is bullshit. Very god, if you make any part of my mech explode, I am going to rip you apart. Are they just suddenly, like, suffering random existence failures? I'm annoyed. I'm hit. Oh, if you don't stop whining, I will come down there and I will punch you. Yeah. Big hit. That was a big oh, indeed. hit. Pyro, where are you? Good to go. Get up off your lazy behind. Daddy wants a mech destroyed. All right, I'm up again. Right around over here. Let's see if you can't see me. I don't know, but apparently melee just instantaneously annihilates arms. It shouldn't do that much damage. Taking the shot. There we go. He's panicking. He didn't get any additional problems onto him, but he is not a happy camper. And he still has ammo, which may explode. He did not explode. What do you need? Alright. That that's unfortunate. I was hoping for big explosions. Massive detonations. Overall pandemonium and chaos. Uh you I'm gonna kill you. You haven't realized it yet, but it's true. Hi. Because you have LRM ammunition right there. I'm going to rip it apart. Oh, you lose an arm. At least really lost a small laser. I'm still in like it's still 100 uh, ton mech punching you. Yeah, but I'm more 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 annoyed about this grasshopper. Receiving you. Uh, I could just run up and charge you. See how you like it. The problem is we'll take uh, recoil damage from that, and I don't want to take the recoil damage. Death from above for revenge. <laughs> We're not that suicidal yet. I really don't want to punch you, just just because it'll make me happy. Doesn't that make you even open torso? Oh, good, I was worried for a second. No, it doesn't. It has an open arm. So we gotta give some distance to the Mackie, because the Mackie's decided it wants to be annoying. I don't like giving distances to Mackie. I like punishing it. I'm gonna my risk my Double back track. towards him, because I'm going to take advantage of your exposed back, in order to hurt you in ways that you haven't even dreamed were possible. Well, at least the shotgun's are There we go. AC-20 ammo. Whereas Neutron, Neutron's been to the hospital for like three weeks. Dude, the man had like an 80-something day injury, Charlie, after all of those yes, wounds that he I took. Alright, get- the, oh god, the dervish has an open CT. That's not good. How badly is that right, open CT? I'm up again. That open CT is very, very badly. Sprint away! Not there. We're right there. That'll do. Let's knock over right, the grasshopper. And also, you know, put him in lots and lots of pain. This, and this, and this. And that. Last of my intelligent rounds. Fire. Everything else after this is dumb rounds. Good, I saw red numbers. Although that just means it's hitting the exposed and transferring out. Uh, Mackie's not punching, it's just the pilot lose control and crush you. And for five minutes and everyone's beaten to hell. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna blame all of you who just decided to fall down and fail me. Back in action. And I'm gonna run up to you. And I think I'm gonna give you a kick. Cause that might blow off your leg, right? I mean it won't, but a man can dream. Order acknowledged. Boot. Okay, hit the wound. I'm oh. over for the knockdown. There's the knockdown I was looking for. On to your back, please. Do the pain kit. I'll just make him more Texan or less Texan. Wait, what? Oh, hi. You stood back up and you still punch for a lot of damage. Don't hit me. Ow. What did the Enforcer ever do to you? I have to gun him down. Light damage. Holding firm. Lost his evasion. Dervish. Oh, baby. That was rough. This was a lot more fire than I was expecting. It's go time! Oh, just a visual effect. Okay. How about are you? 71? We're still fine. Yes, Commander. Pyro! Let's go kill somebody. I can't kill you anymore because I, you know, lit on fire your ammunition and bleed to pieces. So let's go kill other people at high speeds and low drags. Rush right on over there. With the pressure going on the grasshopper. Pressure on the grasshopper might be the best plan. 
rather pressure on you right all right i don't want to do it on but i have way. to do it double time did we lose half of our arm no i turned off half of it this isn't strike on you to get you to back off target your face uh what's the chances here 60 percent yeah shut off one of the books Murphy's. Go for it. on it oh i was so hoping for that headshot because that headshot kills it's beautiful think they're jammed no the mrms i turned off half of them because uh, we only had 41, 40 rounds left and I wanted to keep the temperature low. No jamming. Those are heavy MRMs that can jam. Those suck. Where is Urando? Yes, Commander. Urando. Well, first things first, we're going to move nice and gently. And then I'm going to butcher you. On it. Get that maneuverability under control. I think melee may be a bit overtuned. But that's just my bias. Fire. Giving them everything I've got. Of course you missed the point point range laser. Why wouldn't you? Inflicted. Oh, that's four parts. That's four parts to a grasshopper. That's not bad. Reading you. That's not what I'm looking for, but it's not bad. Could go into a slugging match. 55 damage. I actually deal more. No, I would deal more with that charge. I just don't want to take the damage. Yes, Commander. Malik. Uh, time for you to move at a distance. How's your your torso is doing well? Sprint, get into that cover. Look for that protection. Uh, if I get protection, then I can't shoot. I really want to shoot people. Ah, yeah, screw it. We'll shoot people. It's more fun that way. Then I'm about to get knocked over. Now nah, I moved you. You are back under the steadiness th threshold, so they'll need to focus multiple people. But yeah. See. It was just because I had it set to an ammunition type that was no longer in ammo. Did it just flood you with fire? What's my chance here? Uh, yeah, do it. Enjoy! <laughs> I'm sorry, I enjoy it way too much. Hunchy! Let's go forward. Uh, if you do that, he'll probably punch me in the back, but you know what? It's funnier this way. Full on charge. Hi. There we go. Aha! And we get the knockdown. Overtuned, but I will use it to my advantage. Greybeard. Hey, mister. I get to shoot for free, more or less. Uh, do, do, do. I think they should remove the ability to melee after being knocked down. Because I don't want this lamb anywhere near that. <laughs> It's just not gonna happen. I refuse, so that I can keep it alive. Target the shoulder. Turn off one medium laser. Blast away. Who the hell are you trying to kill? PVC one right to his face. Reporting. Heavy damage. Dervish getting shot at. Dervish avoiding all the damage, like a boss. Like the boss of the TTs. Alright, who's up? Back to us. Uh, I don't want you to have an opportunity to do Standing anything. By. Unfortunately, there's really nothing I can do to stop you from Commander. doing things, is there? Uh, well, kind of, actually. You're gonna take a lot of damage from the following round of shooting. Gonna be pretty funny. Not if I wanna be safe. But Got why it. be safe when you can be dangerous? Target that. Blow it to smithereens. Light the whole thing up. 60% shutdown chance. I don't feel that confident in my ability to capitalize on it. And he missed anyway. Did you get hit by friendly fire? That's yep. a miss. Almost looks like he hit you in the head too. Alright, you're going to stand up and you're going to punch, aren't you? Because that's clearly the best strategy. Oh no, you're going to shoot a single medium laser out by way of the dervish. That's fine, I guess. Which is going to require a little bit of repair time. Yes, Commander. And that's not okay. You also stood still. Oh, I know what you did. Right, right. That's intelligent, actually. I was giving him crap, and I should have been. Shouldn't have been. Dervish. Continue Reading to get you, you sort of out of here. Being the plan. The goal is to retreat you. And also, you know, get you back under temperature. Which I actually don't think I can do. Not if I want to shoot weapons, and I kind of do, but 
be reasonable about it here, folks. Go one side with MRMs, because I want to see if I can't rip off this shoulder. I only need to hit one. On the shoulder, that is. There it goes. Okay. Didn't blow the whole thing up, but... Is 362 very easy to install? Yes. There is an installer. You just put it on. You tell it to install. It does its thing. I'm here. All uh, right. I could just move up and punch you again. Beat the other crap out of you. Or I could stand back here and just continually punch you. It's weaker and less accurate. Charge him again. But no. Kick to his legs. Wouldn't knock off the leg at all. Some idiot was playing the new update and lost track of time. Hello, Graybird. Welcome to the stream. I mean, even if you get lucky, you're not going to kill him. So let's just move back. Move back, takes hover. Take the free oh, shot when offered. We'll go precision strike, see if we can't amp that up, and core him out. There we go. Okay, now we just got the mag to worry about. Down. How we're going to deal with him? I'm not sure. You're in the lamb? That is true, he is in the lamb. All right, now Enforcer's going to walk away. Nice and calm. Don't make eye contact. Actually, no, that's not true. Make eye contact. With shotgun shells. Missed yourself from the back. <laughs> was it actually a headshot? Let's find out. Uh, no, it wasn't. It just looked like one. All right, let's get Greybeard. He shall leap and soar. And also get reasonably close to the enemy, but I don't think he can get back to me. Get ready for some snub nose action. Hammerland, yes, you are. Uh, turn up another laser and PPC. There we go. Starting to weaken both sides. We might be able to panic him and get in the bail, which would be ideal. Okay, he's opening fire. And structure exposed my enforcer. That's going to be expensive. I mean, not hugely expensive, but annoyingly expensive. And he's an ace pilot. Interesting. So we're really facing some of the best of the best that the pirates have to offer, it seems. This was far more expensive than I wanted. Old speed. I think would have been a headshot if I had been facing the right way. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, the temperature is becoming a problem. Oh, it's because I'm missing heat sinks, isn't it? Yeah, shoot, that's why. I take this round to chill out. Next round, you can blaze them with everything you yes, have. To link, continue your retreat. Way off in the distance. Hopefully, even beyond what you can see. Okay. Yes, a long-range missile barrage. Let's see if I can't make the pilot unhappy enough that he quits. Reading you. Back. Similar system is going to be set up. I'm going to move because you're far too unsteady to do anything else. And this will actually get you back under control. Location confirmed. Uh, at least it should have, but I suppose not. Taking the shot. Targeting the PPC fire on in there. Stun PPC is different from normal PPC. He has targeting issues. Stun Nose PPC is a sawed-off shotgun version of a PPC Order. minus the whole shotgun effect, which is something that apparently, uh, hair or yeah, hairbrain schemes uh, decided that they wanted to do more. So I'm actually not a huge fan of the vanilla Stun Nose PPC now. These are pirates that are using that, Mikey. Yep. These are absolutely pirates. Oh, weak are you? Not weak enough. Switch that second over to our slug and give him a precision shot, because why not? Go lay into his shoulder. See if I can't make him painful. Oh, double hit and a structure exposed. So now he's in a lot of trouble. Greybeard, would you like to fly on over here and fire PPC down into his back? I think that would be a perfect use of your talents. Fire! You know, just trying to terrorize him to get out of the mech. Unfortunately, I'm seeing his piloting skill, and it's really high. Uh, there was nothing in that hunch, but still not a good thing. And he's an ace pilot, and that bugs me. All right, son, time for you to die. Receiving you. You are already too expensive for this. I mean, I'll take the grasshopper parts; those are pretty nice. But uh, you die Double now time. this turn. Let's go. Hello, Bubasti. Uh, is that gonna Warning, be incoming missile. Commando Gaming One is now hosting us for five viewers. Well, thank you very much, Commando Gaming. I do appreciate it. All right, let's see if we can't remove Mackie off the field. I am not happy with what he's Firing done to me. Target. There we go. A little bit of heat, and we missed with the one, but it lit his feet on fire. So I'll take it. 
I'm gonna have everybody yep, else shoot him first here. because that way we'll uh, whittle him down enough. And try not to lose oh, another torso. Order. Because if you do, you're dead. Literally. So Otto is almost dead on his first mission out. I think it's his first mission out. Uh, it's probably locked in there and I'm like, we're... Would enter a mechie really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember if primitive mechs have, uh... If primitive mechs have that, it cannot eject or not. Confirm. So we'll run on in here. Fire some slugs. Or clusters. And see if we can't cause some good crits. Actually, we're destroyed. Critical hit. The matters. primitive mechs actually get a bonus to their internal structure, which makes them a little bit more difficult to sort of open up. I'm here. All right, the leak. Hi. Time for the Not ultimate barrage. Wondering what the uh, like didn't appear in stream yet? Oh, it shows up on over there. Please, I don't want to touch my hundred tire. What's your uh, ammo detonation on this one? You are ammo explosion on 30. That's a little high. Pull that off. Ammo on a 10. Okay. Come on, something good, something good, something good. There it goes. Mech destroyed. So, not exactly the best mission we've ever run. We were sort of blindsided mission by the sheer successful. power of the new melee mechanics. I mean, seriously, no, they hit for ridiculous amounts of damage. So we're uh, we're gonna have to deal with that. Tell me, robot. Thank you for the bits. Alrighty then. What do we got? Uh, yeah, damage across the board. Not our finest hour. However, four parts to a grasshopper, and we were looking to get a heavy. And a grasshopper is not a terrible heavy to start with. Uh, we're not gonna get it, obviously. Although we did get all four parts, so if we run into another grasshopper, we just blow that sucker into little tiny bits. Uh, I think charges have a good chance to knock over. Yeah, they're harder to hit, but they have a very high chance of knocking you over. And on top of that, they hit you multiple times for 20-something damage, per, which is pretty rough. So we're going to use this opportunity to sell a whole bunch of junk, mainly from the mechs that we have no interest in getting our hands on. And then we shall travel far and wide. That will let me have for some reason. You'll be ready for the next mission, I'm sure. All right, we do also need to check to make sure that we're picking up more mech. What else? Grasshoppers are the bomb. They are mostly energy mix, and they have a head-mounted LRM, so how can that not be utterly ridiculous? Uh, what 5S have? It's like the 5S Grasshopper? Not sure. I assume it's the normal one, so LRM 5, 3 or 4 medium lasers and a large. Don't worry, here we have the pause to play. Let's go check the hiring hall. Uh, unfortunately, these are all named pilots, so I can't grab them. We've got four berths currently open. Let's go fix our junk. Because uh, the mini hammer got utterly annihilated. Talik's dervish, easy repair. Uh, Enforcer, I think, only lost an actuator. So this is a fake repair. It's fake repairs for the day. On it. 5S is the I'll stalker hobby? The yep. I think so, anyway. And here you're going to need a new small laser. Luckily for us, we didn't lose anything you know, important. It wasn't a clan small laser or anything like that. It can fit anything over here. I've only got half a ton, though. So what else are you going to do but another small laser? There you go. You're fine. Brilliant, even. Uh, also, it looks like I didn't lose any Omnipod locations, which is excellent. Don't forget to go to the store. Uh, is there anything in the store we need? Didn't think there was. Right. Bombs make it. Yes. <laughs> All right, and he, you just need another PPC. New target acquired. Commando Gaming just subscribed. Wow, thank you so much, ma'am. Do appreciate it. I love my new little, like, Irby button that I can just spam out all the little harpies. Makes it fun and easy. Alright, so you just need a PPC and your right is raining. We've got four of them. So, I wish I had enough to throw another one on here. Where is that third energy? Oh, it's head mounted. Of course it is. Just to make it, like, a tiny awesome. But, I don't have those things. So, there we go. Easy repair. No problem. No Any trouble target there. Acquired. And the Holy Inquisition has also subscribed. We got awesomeness going on here today. Uh, let's see, what did it say? So I can scroll up in time. Uh, Inquisition's been with us for two months on a two month streak. Nice! Also, throw on the extra emote for that. Uh, who needs a stock hopper? Just every little hopper wants to run. Uh, Miss Heaven Carpies. Well, uh, there's various ways of doing that. 
Are you a shipbreaker? I have not. I've seen it. It's very interesting. It reminds me of the, op not the opening scene, but just after the opening scene of Titan AE, which is one of my favorite movies. So when I saw it, I was very interested in it. I just don't think that there's room for us to stream it on the channel. <laughs> and I have, like, no free time. So, ooh, that hunchback. Uh, I'll focus it. Right, is there anything in the store that I need before I start selling all of the things? Uh, first and foremost, a pair of Hollander parts are boring. AC2s, there is a Gauss rifle. I have a Gauss rifle. A couple of medium cannons. Piercing weapons don't work in this batch, just in case anybody's wondering. Binary lasers are terrible. Plasma rifles are nice. Very expensive, though. Bayway LRMs, reloading rocket launchers, which are kind of a joke. New target acquired. And Exar Snow has just been subscribed for two months as well, man. Thank you, guys. We sent out the love. Ha! Hype train? I don't think we've got to the hype train. Oh no, we did get a hype train. We've got a hype train level one. We're at 94%. I don't know if we're at 94% of a level one or if we do that. I don't understand how the hype train system works anymore. <laughs> Alrighty. Improved jump jets? New. No. I don't need any cores. General equipment. Calm sweep. Plus, plus, but that's just because that has lots of pluses. So, five minutes to complete this level of hype train. We don't have a hype team level two. Oh, also we can take loans, which I think we noticed this last time, and we don't really need it because now I'm going to sell all of my junk. <laughs> I won't bother with selling all of the weapons, even though I really should bother with selling all the weapons. Instead, I'm going to sell all the crap that I'm not going to use. I'm not going to sell this because the last time I sold it, we ran into another one that got four parts to it. Uh, was it level two? I think we're missing level two, yeah. Herby Lamb we keep because it's an Herby Lamb. Javelins, absolutely not. Owens is a cute, and I know we have a friend who likes Owens. As a no, thank you. Acquired. And the Kicker of Elves is just... Right, he does indeed speed us up to the hype train. Kicker of Elves has been with us for two months as well. Oh, wrong button. Do that. And 200 bits to get the level 2 hype train from Urando. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much, man. We just like bombard massive amounts of herbies and we're still just selling crap. <laughs> it's like hype trade activated what are we doing we're, we're selling things uh i don't need to well, i'll keep the phoenix hawk lamp parts just in case because i might get another phoenix hawk lamp uh centurion we're actually getting pretty close to a centurion i'm not gonna complete that for various reasons uh the wolverine yes in fact if you're not 50 tons and you're not cool like say a rifleman or 55 tons and up i'm probably gonna sell you because at this point rid of it keep the phoenix hawk keep the blackjack omnis just because they're blackjack omnis and that puts us in a reasonably comfortable position so we got four parts to a grasshopper and four parts to a marauder obviously i have a little bit of preference for the marauder but hey we're gonna knock it down i've trained for shopping no more support for four minutes people we can't allow ourselves to get to level three <laughs> ah but but wouldn't you want duplicates all right let's uh where are we right now i think we're at a fairly decent level for our planet so take me oh shoot no we need to get something going on engineering don't we uh yeah we just finished buying something okay let's get rid of more crap black jay hominies no thank you scout Ooh. target info incoming and kyogre has donated thank you kyogre man you guys are awesome oh yeah donations don't power the hype trains perfect you're keeping us right where we need to be uh wolverine no I'll get rid of the Shadowhawk. I hate Shadowhawks. I know, people like Shadowhawks. I don't. I do not understand how the Shadowhawk became the face of this game. It's like, you are, like, the most boring mech ever made. Why are you so cool, according to everybody else? Look at the Rifleman. The reason why I'm selling additional crap is because I wanted something. What did I want? Oh, yeah. Upgrades. Done. The hype train has me going too fast, I think. Uh, I need up and drop size. This this is required and important, so we'll get that rocking and rolling. And now to navigation. No, dude, that, that's great, because we need the level 2 hype train. We have a level 1 hype train, and we've had a level 3 hype train. We've never had a level 2 hype train, so that's actually good. <laughs> that's the reason why Uranda doesn't want anybody to support right now. Tail hogs are terrible? Uh, yes, indeed. Find the nation's better hype train. It is, actually, it literally actually is. Jack's are decent, more exciting than a champion. Shade, you liar. You lying liar who lies. There is no McCool in the champion. Uh, let's head to Pasig. Oh, former Starling Presence. Nice. Well, it is poor, though. Now, 
off we travel. And we'll get upgraded drop in just a couple of days. That'll be nice. That'll give us our sixth drop location. And since we're not hey, rocking with like super huge mechs yet, that's not a huge problem. Uh, not navigation, I want engineering. Back, take me to engineering. And drop control level two requires a what? Improved power conduits. That's pretty useful. Oh yeah, they also improved the uh, the training module. It now doesn't like die down. Does having a royal title excuse the Shadowhawk 2 HP or all Shadowhawks are all Shadowhawk? Well, okay. Literally all Shadowhawks are not bad, but there are quite a few bad Shadowhawks. And I don't like them at all. Never like them. They're very boring max to me. Uh, we need to get something going. Uh, I could go... What do I need for the... I need... I do need improved uh, power conduits for my final level. But I'm not even maxed out yet, so it's not that big of a deal. 7 max or 500 tons total. Wait, what's my total tonnage here? 450? Uh, improved power conduits or... Plus 2 tech points off of refit harness. I think refit harness is the way to... Ooh, actually no. Apparently scaffolding and refit harness are the same thing. That is different from what I'm used to. We'll grab that. Right I need more repair. I mean, I don't, but I want more repair. You must die on this mission. Uh, hey, Otto, your mission reduced you to... Yes, Otto is out of action for... 40 days. Because <laughs> he went into a mission, and he got the absolute crap beaten out of him. UK Shadowhawk is awesome. I just don't like the design. Ooh, Neutron's back. Oh, wait. Crap, 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 crap. I just realized something. Got a new financial report for you. Commander. Shit. Okay, never mind. Okay. I was worried that I had accidentally bankrupted the company by not paying attention, but I was paying enough attention. Uh oh, Rando, no, we only got the level one hydrate emote. We needed one more. So nice work, everybody. Four subs, 203 bits. We only got a level one hype train. Good work, everybody. Have the emotes. Alrighty, so we got that fixed. Uh, Mesh from Eyesores last night? Who the hell is Eyesores? The Industry Off Road Enforcement Society. Okay. Thank you for participating in last year's off road racing competition. The racers like you do. But I didn't participate in the off road race. Okay, um, cool. Not sure what that was about, and I don't really care. This is why Darius always complains. <laughs> uh, Maggie hit me, what the heck was I doing? You were driving a, uh, a hunchback. It was actually a mini hammer, is what we started calling it, because it has two pieces. Show Commander. me the store. I don't have money, but show me the store. That'll let me know exactly what I can't buy. Well, there's a commando. In fact, there's two commandos. Oh, right, there's another cool thing about this patch. Mechs have affinities now. The more a mech pilot drives a certain mech, the better in that mech they get. So we need to start being more consistent about keeping this the same people driving the same mech. AoE AC20 does 50 damage. And how much damage does it deal around to it? Will it show me if I actually pop it out? And it does not. Huh, that might be worth it. I mean, to knock out vehicles and other small things. Let's see what we got. With ballistics, heavy cannons, medium rifles, some mortars, and ammunition. Apparently ammo AP Gauss was that? No, I was combining things. Uh, from a former soldier of a cav unit, I like the placement of the Shadowhawks cannon because you can bring your biggest gun to bear while keeping your muscle, your head behind your and deflate. Yeah, but it's not about realism, it's about cool, and Shadowhawks are not cool. It's just facts and logic. I was hoping Bloody Devils would add the affinity stuff. It has been included, and it's very interesting. So we're going to slip on, check a couple more weapon systems, and then we'll probably go on a mission. Yeah, unfortunately there is no melee SRM4, so the hunchback is going to be a little bit weaker than usual. Excel engines, but I'm not seeing any really fun things. Now I've got hands. I can lay hands on you. And no melee weapons either. Maybe we ought to head to Solar so we can also bribe the local officials in order to make them make them like us more. Alright, refit harness in nine days. I'll get Pyro until we got him today, so I'll wait today. There we go. And head on over to the barracks. Like, some people level, 
leveled up. Millions of people Yep, you gotta pay it back, but you what can get money fuck? instantaneously if you need it, which I think will really help out early game playing. Uh, could get you that, or call job bonus, call job bonus. If you're gonna be an assassin now, call job bonus is gonna be very important for you. Commander. It is good. Stadio. Where do you actually show up? Pyro, Ouija there, oh, there we go. Udando, do you want breaching or do you want me to move you towards guts? Because you get to be my second pilot who can reach that level. Uh, we can get a Wally Lane. <laughs> what? I must have missed that. Uh, did I see an incendiary MG? Uh, probably. I mean, we don't have it yet. Uh, the Lotus from Discount Den. Breaching? Already. Breaching shot it is. You know, uh, the loan multiple times. Yep, it's kind of ridiculous. Training complete. All right, a second breaching pilot. So we have two sniping pilots. So I'll have to put Rando in something with a little bit better long range support. Because at the end of the day, that that enforcer is a little bit mediocre on that. Uh, Talik, of course, drives a dervish because that's his bloody mech, and no one's taking him out of it. At least I don't think so. Hiring hall. I have four berths. Uh, I can pick up. Receiving you. Yeah, four Receiving new pilots. You. Smolder. New mech warriors Commander. available. Uh -huh. New mech warriors available. Giant or Gigante? I think we'll call him Gigante. New mech warriors and available. And Hagfish. Somebody New had to be jipped on that one. Available. Said it says lower leg Wally. Ah, I see. All right, so we're up to our maximum birthing. So it's time to add some people to the company. Let's do my barracks. All right, who am I missing of my normal people? Gigante, you are going to become weighted lizard. Weighted lizard. Save. Abable auto graybeard hagfish. I haven't named two people with lizard, right? I have not. Okay, good. Uh, let's see. Pyro's already in. Exar Snoo. Customize. Exar Snoo is now with us. Uh, you may want to check to see if they're. If they are extra vehicles, uh, they all had M's. Oh shoot, Abel was a vehicle pilot now? Really? <laughs> Abel didn't used to be a vehicle pilot. Sandhog is also okay. Sandhog dismissed. All right, and since I've got to get rid of Abel now because Abel is apparently a vehicle pilot, what the? So dismiss Abel. Confirm. Uh, Abel gets a free immediate join back in. Because orders. you know he was in. Hey, boo -boo. that sucks. By the way, the the M's MVs MV means mech and vehicle, uh, V means vehicle, and M means mech pilot. Kager, are you a vehicle pilot? Hopefully not, because if you became a vehicle pilot, I'm gonna be pissed. Kager. no, you're mech pilot. You good? We don't have vehicles yet. This is the starting point. Like, they've started adding in some of the code needed in order to make that happen. They're not in yet. They will be in soon. So, or at least soon, as in, you know, the trademark soon. Your name, Mark, where after myself? You're already in here. Pidgey, bro, you're, you're right here. Yes, Commander. That's you. Right over there. Go say hi. <laughs> you're an MV pilot. I'll put you in a tank when it finally shows up. Uh, I'm a Lancer now. Congratulations. Really? Is that what it says? Oh, it does. Nice. Uh, so we want to steal some Mars Assault vehicles to go to Rising Max. Uh, can you imagine just a couple of demolishers suddenly pop out of nowhere on top of you? So I have two more berths open, and I have no pilots to hire. So that is a tad unfortunate. But... Uh, what kind of pilot do they have me listed as? I have no idea. They're on the computer. Greybeard is a pilot. Because you don't have your final specialization yet. Make some Shrek BBC carries. Shrek BBC carries actually would probably be a really good thing to have. Because those would give you a ridiculous amount of control on the battlefield. Let's go kill somebody. Double trouble. Ooh, dual duel. Interesting. I like duels. Do you like duels? We're going to put a cut in here for our YouTube people because I want to fight this duel and it's not going to be in front of them. Well, it will be in front of them, just not today. Thank you, YouTube people, for hanging around. Don't worry, we're going to be streaming for another couple of hours. Don't worry. However, we put in a cut here for our YouTube folks so they don't get overwhelmed by the awesome. So to my YouTube folks, you thank you very much for acquired. watching. Oh, and Paladin has just subscribed. Uh, poor Max, more Bandalord. Oh, thank you, Paladin. 
uh, have my love. And on that lovely note, thank you very much for watching, you two people. I, uh, if you like what you're seeing, hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see a notification every single time I post one of these videos. Press that little bell icon, leave a comment, and I will see you all in the next episode.